tend to go through the day starved of breath energy, which is one of the reasons why John Lee recommends that when you start meditating, you take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and then figure out where the point of balance is. What is enough, long enough, deep enough? What's too long? What's too short? What's too deep? What's too shallow? A lot of concentration is just this, finding the point of balance. You can also look at the balance of your body. Is there more tension on the left side or the right? Are you more sensitive to the left or more sensitive to the right? Try to bring things into balance, and it creates a sense of well-being. As you go through the day, you're not feeling that you've got a big lack someplace. Because when there's a sense of lack, then you go out feeding on things outside to try to make up for the lack, and it doesn't really do it. A lot of it is just this issue of energy balance in the body. If you can bring that into balance, a lot of other things will go well throughout the body. And the mind will have a good having a good place to stay will feel a lot more refreshed, less burdened. This is one of the lessons we learn in seeing how we shape our experience and how we can do it a lot more skillfully. And how shaping your experience skillfully is not a selfish thing, because when the mind is out of balance, the body's out of balance. Your actions are going to be out of balance, too. Start doing and saying things that are oppressive to other people, disturbing, irritating, sometimes even harmful. So you look after yourself, and as the Buddha says, you look after yourself and you're looking after others as well, like that image of the two acrobats. If you maintain your balance, it's a lot easier for other people to maintain their balance as well. If you're running around worried about what this person's doing, what that person's doing, you're losing your balance, and in losing your balance, you can knock them out of balance too. So start right here and try to maintain that sense of balance as you go through the day. If you feel you've lost it, stop. John Fuang used to comment that when you're doing any work around the monastery, if you feel that the mind has slipped off, okay, stop whatever you're doing, stand still for a bit, bring things back into balance, and then start your work again. We do have jobs to do around the monastery, but remember that training the mind comes first. And so if you've lost that, stop for a second, reestablish your focus, and then try to maintain your focus as you do the work. That way you benefit both inside and out. 